All right, people, what's going on? First video, first YouTube video, Rikers Island stories. First time on Rikers Island. Yeah, so my first time on Rikers Island was, I was 16, 2006. I'll never forget, it was a cold D. I had a cold D, me and my cousin caught a case together in the Bronx. Ended up getting arrested in Brooklyn on a train. Yeah, that's that's a whole nother story. But um, so we end up going to the island, C seventy four, R N D C, A R D C. That's the name of it, the breakdown or whatever. And um, yeah. So when you first come through the floor building, you in the Why Me pens. That's intake. Why Me. Now they call it Why Me because everybody that used to be in there, be in there for hours and hours and hours, waiting to get housing. Get a, a house, a bed. So everybody, a lot of people would start saying, "Why me, man? Why me?" So a nickname, the "Why Me" pants. So from there, you sit there for a little while. Like I said, maybe a few hours, a couple hours, trying to figure out where they're gonna place you as far as your classification goes. Now, as soon as you walk in there, it's a, you're gonna see a bunch of COs at the desk. You're gonna see other people that's locked up in the wild meat pens bugging out talking crazy cursing spitting doing all types of crazy stuff mind you this is 2006 i was 16 years old so i'm in there and the one of the first things they do once you come through the um intake and the full building is they take you to the um property room to take your id you know stuff like that um ask you if you want to you know where this where that if you want to go through with this or you want to put it in property and get a receipt for it because the niggas is getting robbed on the island for whatever clothes back then 2006 you could wear regular clothes like this you could wear jewelry like this if you had chains you had earrings you could wear shit like this back then so you know it was like a fashion show back then especially you got niggas from all over the five boroughs and the adolescents trying to make a name for themselves you feel me it was just crazy. So you get there, boom. I never forget the officer, my son, Mamu, Indian nigga, he used to be slapping niggas' heads off, the young niggas, not the, not the adults, only the adolescents. So, yeah, Mamu pulls up, me and my code D drum, he already been there before, so he already telling me to run down, yo, don't give up none of your stuff, don't be with it. Niggas ask you if you with it, no, you ain't with nothing. I bet, that's the model I'm running with, you heard? So boom, I remember I came in back then, you know, I had on some academic jeans, that was the style back then. I had some crispy white ups and a, a white t-shirt. My Cody drum, he had on the Air, the, the, the Air Max 95s with the bubbles. Back then they wasn't letting you in with no bubbles. Like It was hard to get in the four building with a pair of boots or sneakers with bubbles. So they took his shits, gave him the Patakiyakis, the orange shits. So mind you, we came in with about 10 niggas. So boom, from there and all that intake shit, after they do the property receipt and all that, you go through whatever you go through, you go to the medical, to the um to the clinic, which is right there, basically. You go in there, you sit down, basically, the last two benches, the COs is in there, you see other inmates coming in and out, other COs, the doctors is in the back offices and stuff, doing what they do. So boom, we in there, me and my code D, you know, we already know what's up, he already put me on, so I know what's up. We, we, we on some other type of time, you feel me? So, you know, like I said, they took my Cody Air 95s, put them in his property bag, boom, gave him a receipt. So as we sit in the clinic, it was a, one Spanish nigga with us, you feel me? He had on white ups. So I gave my Cody the eye like, yo, you feel me? So basically, we end up finessing the nigga out of his ups, like basically telling the nigga like, yo, you go back there with those, they, you gonna get got. Niggas is robbing you, niggas is taking it because you ain't nobody. Niggas don't know you, niggas don't know who you are, you feel me? So, that's how that shit went, boom. End up taking his shit, we end up robbing a couple of other niggas for their pin numbers back um, in the back of the clinic. You know, pin numbers is for, basically for whoever's locked up, you gotta use that to make outside phone calls to your people, to your, 